What's going on? Today we're going to be looking at a full House Call Pro tutorial. Maybe you just signed up for House Call Pro, you need to get your company in the system, set up, get your employees in there, your price book, import your contacts, manage your money, and get up and running using the software. So today we're going to be looking at a bunch of things, but first we're going to get your account set up, and then I'm going to show you some additional, more powerful features that you can use to get your business running smoothly with House Call Pro. All right, so we just logged into House Call Pro for the first time. And I want to say uh, we're going to be looking at the Essentials Plan, which is House Call Pro's middle tier plan. With this, you can have one to five employees logged into the software simultaneously. So what we're first going to do is go up in the top right corner. We're going to click this gear icon. And on this left side rail, we're going to start entering our company information. Get your company identity in the system so that you can customize the features to your business. So obviously, we're going to start with our profile. And we can edit this, our company name, our address. You can edit your company description, add a logo, which is great. So that can be displayed on your invoices and estimates, as well as any boilerplate messages you want to include there and your terms and conditions. Then you want to add your business hours. And um, this will be set up later. We're going to talk about online booking and how your business hours tie into that, as well as your service area, entering your zip codes. All right, so next we want to get our team in House Call Pro, set up your employees, set up the various roles and permissions. So we'll go ahead and do that now. Now this is just a demo account. I have a bunch of team members already added in here, but we'll go ahead and add a new team member. So this is what we're presented with. We can assign uh, different colors to team members. We can select an image to upload their photo, and I highly recommend doing that. That way when the tech is navigating to the customer's home, and the customer gets sent an automated on the way text, a photo of, of the technician uh, will be sent. So it's just a good way to kind of improve the customer experience, show a friendly face um, that's on their way to their house. So obviously we're gonna enter their name, email, phone number, and then this is where you have a lot of control. We have these various roles starting with the admin owner. If you're the owner, you can be the point of contact person. You can show your uh, availability on the online booking and then you can uh, allow yourself to chat with customers. If you prefer to delegate uh, various tasks to your office staff like uh, the point of contact you can assign an office staff member to be the point of contact and the POC handles all inbox messages from customers as well as when you set up online booking new bookings can be routed to the POC so that they can manually uh, review jobs and uh, dispatch and assign jobs to employees. They have some other permissions here, you know, just like typical back-end stuff, right? Like marketing campaigns, accessing your pipeline. And then we have our field tech. We have even more permissions, but obviously the main ones are, you know, to add edit jobs, cancel jobs, take payments in the field, things like that. And then some additional permissions that you can set up and Again, it just gives you that control to be able to manage all of your staff. And then on the main dashboard, you can kind of see a quick glance, you know, the name, the role, who the POC is, reviews, ratings, and when um, the last time the employee logged in. And then if we click these three dots, you can archive team members and then also set up pay details. So if we click into an employee, you can set up their base pay either hourly or if they're salaried. Um, and then you can add costs associated with retaining an employee to calculate your fully loaded rate, which is great to have and be able to manage right from this dashboard. So next up on the list is to get a custom phone number for your business. So if we go down to text messages, we'll click register my business. And then you walk through the steps to register your business, get a custom phone number. You can set your preferred area code, uh, which is great so that you show up locally to customers. And then that number will also be used to send the on the way text to, to clients. And then so from here, if we head over to inbox, all of the text messaging with your customers will be routed here. Um, and then you have a separate channel to message only with your team members. And then you have this job inbox as well where you can set up various lead generation sources to engage with leads and transform those into jobs. Um, also, you have this feature too, you can set this up to have a chat bubble on your website. Um, so those messages will be sent here. 
And a pro tip here too, you know, if you're working on the desktop a lot, you can turn on browser notifications to make sure that when a customer texts you, you get notified as you're working on your computer um, so that you can respond quickly. If you'd like, Housecall Pro offers an add-on feature called Voice, and it's basically like a full service phone system. You can take and receive calls, manage your voicemail, even set up an interactive voice response system and turn calls into jobs. So with that squared away, I wanna head up to the navigation bar and click My Money Next so that we can set up our bank account and we can start taking payments. So on the left side rail uh, for payouts, we'll click Add Info and we'll walk through the steps to get our account set up in the system so that we can start taking payments. Also, you have some additional features. Huskall Pro uses WiseTac to be able to offer um, customers consumer financing. So if you're a company that typically does larger projects, that is a great feature to have. It just kind of retains more customers, uh, gives customers more options. Then you can also buy a card reader to take contactless payments in the field, which is just another great thing to have and just kind of streamlines the process of taking payment. And you can even get a line of credit for your business. So if you're still kind of new um, and you need maybe to get a fleet of vans or something like that, you can apply and get up to $150,000. Furthermore, you can get an accounting add-on. So if you wanna keep everything in the same platform, you can book a call, see if it's a right fit for you, and um, they'll take care of your books for you. So just to talk about some of the credit card rates with Housecall Pro, if you have a card reader, anytime a card is swiped, tapped, or chipped, uh, it's 2.59%. So if, if you do a lot of those transactions in the field, that might be something to consider paying a one-time fee to get the card reader, and then you have that uh, reduced credit card rate going forward. But for um, invoices that are sent and a customer pays online, that's 2.99%. And then for other card payments, if you scan their card or enter their details manually in the field, uh, that's 3.49%. And then Housecall Pro offers an Instapay feature. If you have that toggled on, payments will be sent typically within 30 minutes to your account although they say sometimes it can take up to 24 hours. But if you select the Instapay option, just add 1% on top of the normal fees. So that's a nice option to have if you prefer to get payments a little quicker and you don't mind the extra fee. Another thing to note that when using Instapay, you can only have up to $50,000 per transaction um, and then you can have up to $100,000 per day. So if you do like a high volume jobs, that's just something to note. So the next step on the list is to add our price book, all of our services, get that in the system so that we can start pricing our jobs. So what we'll do is we'll head over to more, go down to price book. And on the left rail here, we can add our services. What I recommend is just getting the structure right. So adding in all of the high level categories. So we first start off by creating your industry then you can add all of your various categories within that industry and then you click into the categories and then you can add your services here housecall pro allows you to import your services if you have an existing price book same thing with your materials they have a template to walk you through the formatting to get that in but if you're building it from scratch you can go ahead and do that pricing forms allow you to have a little bit more control over your pricing and offer your customers uh, tailored prices to their project. So if you set this up, customers can fill this out, enter specific dimensions and details for their job, and then the form calculates a price for them based upon those dimensions. And again, you, you set these dynamic prices uh, in the price book. So this just offers a, a better customer experience uh, so that they can get more tailored pricing. Estimate templates are great if you do a specific job frequently you can create a, uh, an estimate template that you can just insert into an existing estimate um, and then send it off. Then you can set your tax rates. And if we go click into a service, Housecall Pro allows you to add flat rate pricing. Now this is included only with the essentials plan and above and you have to turn it on in the app store. So if we go to my apps, go to the app store, search for flat rate pricing, you have to turn it on there. 
But what this does is it allows you to automate your pricing. So you enter your labor rates and you enter uh, your materials and any material markups. You do this by going down on the left rail here, labor rates, material markups, and then of course it'll calculate based upon your materials that you add here. But this just allows you to front load your pricing. So this way you protect your profit margin and then you show customers just a clean fixed price. Another great feature to have is this service price adjuster. So you can adjust the prices of your services in bulk. You can choose increase or decrease. You set a percentage and you can check this box to round it to the nearest dollar. And then again, you can choose all of your services or select specific services to bulk increase or decrease prices so this allows you to have more control over your prices so that you can increase profitability year over year so that's it for price book now let's head over and get our customers in the system I want to quickly mention if you're interested in house call pro or you're still on the fence using it I have a 14 day free trial for you to check that out on your own help support me help support the channel I get a little bit of kickback from that so that is down in the description so we can always add customers one by one by clicking new and customer but since you're just setting your up, up your account and you want to get all of your customers in house call pro we'll head over to customers and we will walk through the import process now you have three options to import your customer list you can import them from if you use quickbooks from your contact list there google contacts or a csv file now a tip here when importing your customers is that you, you might have a customer list across all three of these options but you want to focus on one as your primary method of getting all your customers in here so one source of truth so that the import process goes smoothly the last thing you want to do is be importing from multiple sources and then potentially have duplicate customers which creates just a messy uh, customer list so to save yourself frustration later on just pick one import record and stick with that so the last major piece of the puzzle is to integrate your quickbooks account with house call pro so you do that by going up to the App Store and doing a search. And depending on which version you have, uh, either QuickBooks Online or QuickBooks Desktop, you'll connect that and walk through the setup process. This integration saves a lot of time by eliminating manual data entry and ensures accurate financial records. Now, depending on how your data is structured in QuickBooks, you might have to adjust a few things through this setup process to make sure that everything gets imported properly and you don't have any errors. But overall, this just saves so much time and setting QuickBooks up kind of rounds out the whole process, right? From online booking and initial client intake to job tracking, closing out the job, getting paid, and then having your finances and costs tracked. It's just kind of a, a complete picture to get every aspect of your business squared away in House Call Pro. So now that we have the basic setup covered, we have got our customers, our price book, our employees, our company set up in the system. I wanna talk about some key features that make uh, this system really powerful, especially for small teams. And starting with online booking. Online booking is great because it's essentially a 24 seven engine that works for you even when you're not working and when your business is closed. So it's a customer facing form on your website, on all of your socials, on your Google profile, where customers can book with you at any time. You can even take payments up front when customers are booking then all of their contact details automatically get entered into the system. And then if you set it up so that you have auto scheduling turned on, customers can book uh, based upon your availability or your employees availability. Your schedule just fills up automatically. Or if you'd like, you can choose manual and have your point of contact person assign jobs manually. But Overall, it, it is a, a critical feature to have for any business and it just automates client intake and keeps your schedule full. Next up, we have automated email campaigns. So this is an add-on feature in House Call Pro, but it's a great way to automate client follow-ups, job satisfaction surveys, and marketing campaigns throughout the year to keep you, your business top of mind uh, for your clients and to continually win more work. Another critical feature in today's day and age is getting reviews, managing reviews. You can set this up in the system 
so that anytime you either finish a job or uh, after a job is marked paid, an automated text will get sent out to your client for them to be able to review you. And you have some control over where those reviews are sent. You can send them to Google, you can send them to your website or Facebook. Uh, so having that control over where they're sent is great. You can also reply to reviews in House Call Pro. So it creates just a centralized way uh, to manage your online reputation and grow your business. Another feature for small teams to ensure quality and consistency is to have required checklists in the field. So uh, the only way for a field tech to close out the job is to finish the checklist. This just allows you to have more control to make sure that all jobs go smoothly and are completed according to the standards that you set. A couple other features that I find really helpful with the software is if you go up to the top right, click on your profile picture, you can see an activity feed of everything that's been going on in your business so you can see what activities have been carried out this is just a great way to maintain accountability across your business and also the other feature is the internal note taking feature so within a job screen and on estimates you can write internal notes uh, so that you can refer back to them later so i hope this video helped you set up your business in house call pro what you're building is just essentially a more efficient more interconnected and hopefully more profitable operation by integrating all these tools. So now you can really hit the ground running and start running your business with more confidence. Again, if you're still on the fence and you wanna check out House Call Pro, I have a 14 day free trial down in the description for you to check that out. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.